hundreds and thousands of people working on the arena and they are connected to Arena Network and they are utilizing the services of the Arena Network for their own purposes. For a customer, it's the, I would say that it's a kind of, a kind of journey that becomes seamless and then you really don't know this that you are using maybe different services as it's all, uh, all put together. We are doing a lot of work already now with the sport broadcasters and making different kind of live events. This arena is one of the good places that we can in a controlled environment test new kind of things. Already vice hockey you can see the, how fast the puck goes there and how fast they skate or what happens there. All stats are available now. You can put on the VR headset and see the details, see the action in a very personal way. The camera is placed next to the artist, so then you are next to the artist really, so that's very fascinating. The customer doesn't even need to know about all of the technology behind over there, but it really creates a new kind of experiences and they think, wow, this is something different now. Really important role in this, especially with the moving cameras and microphones, because uh, the slicing and all those features with what 5G really gives and technology side, it enables all that. Really crucial also for the business-to-business -business kind of environment, that there's a reliability. For example, now when we are filming some kind of concert over there, so that we could utilize the 5G network and all of the capabilities of that. We need to be sure also that it's working 100%. For example, I told you about this eSports part, that it needs to really be working all the time. There cannot be a millisecond kind of glitch. Musical artists around the world, they could make a kind of a, a gig together, even they are from different parts of the world and not actual same physical place. I would probably want to see some crazy collaboration and also the hologram artists dancing with them. Maybe even like a interact with the artist, it feels totally realistic that you are actually talking with the artist in virtual reality. With you have been having your own conversation with him and it can be like a fake enough to pass as a real experience. I think that would be quite mind-blowing. We can bring the camera into places where you can't access and then give like access to secret locations or weird locations like if we think about drone cameras or anything like you could pay for being a fly on the roof. We really can show what are the opportunities of 5G. And now it has been, we have been starting with the basic stuff, but in the arena we can showcase all the fancy stuff. There are also a lot of spectators, so we can build new kind of entertaining kind of things for them also. We can tell them how should they approach the arena, what is the parking lot that they should be taking. If we go back to the, for example, shows or gigs, you could see what it is, get information, see where it's, where you can buy it maybe, while you're still watching the thing, like, I want to have those shoes. And then they come at home secretly, and when you go to home, they're already there. Using this network as a code type of platforms has been very beneficial. It's the future of things. We really believe in having these ecosystems and having these like joint ventures together. Well, I think openness is extremely important. All these kind of things become possible that were never possible before. And that's like the fantastic part because it hasn't been done. Yeah.